Well, currently the gym ned school dress code is the talk of the town, causing an up and out discussion rather or not whether or not boys should be allowed to wear earrings. One family telling us that their son was asked to remove his earrings because it was against school's dress code. Now, in an effort to change that, petitions are circulating, each addressing both sides of the argument. KTAB's Miriam Chamberlain met with the family and has the story. You just got the errands changed out. Whoa, pow. This is nine year old Ryan Outlaw. Whoa, black diamond gym. Whoop. Excited to have gotten his ears pierced with his father, Cody Outlaw. But upon his first day of school, he was asked to take them out. The principal caught me before school even started. We had Ryan take them out before there was any drama with any of the teachers or anything. As the principal told them, due to a district-wide rule, boys are not allowed to wear earrings of any kind in school. And I told them to take them out, put them in your backpack, and put them back in after school's over. Ryan's mother, Ashley Outlaw, says she then curated a petition and took it to Facebook. Someone explained to me why little girls could safely wear earrings to school, but boys could not. And a lot of people agreed with me. But soon that petition received backlash, as some Others in the community stepped up, creating their own petition to keep Jim Ned School's dress code the same. The petition stating, in part, We do not want to see our school district regress to the level of those which we left in search of greener pastures. Jim Ned CISD gave us a statement when we asked about the situation, stating, While we do our best to remain aware of concerns expressed on social media, our district does not respond to or solve problems through social media. Instead, we prefer to handle our concerns face to face. We like for that process to begin informally with a conversation in person or by phone. As more than 1,500 signatures signed for change, I think he deserves the opportunity to, to wear them. With over 500 signed to uphold the current dress code. He actually told me he, he cried and he hugged me and he said, Thank you for standing up for me. In Tuscola, what coverage you can count on? Miriam Chamberlain, KTAB News. Thank you, Miriam. Now updating, as of news time, more than 1,600 signatures had signed for change and nearly 600 had signed to uphold the current dress code. You can find both petitions right now on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.